Hello and welcome back to Jules My Tools. In our session today, we will be calculating the HCF or the highest common factor when using the division ladder and we have three numbers with no common factors. So if you're ready, let's get started. In our session today, we will be calculating the HCF using our division ladder for our three numbers. Now I must remind you that whenever you're using the division ladder, you're always using prime numbers only. And if you're not too familiar with your prime numbers or you know bits and pieces of the prime numbers, I'm going to begin by first listing my prime numbers that are less than 20. And my first prime number will be 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19. So mainly when using the division ladder, for the most part, these numbers will be the ones that you will mainly use. So I'm going to begin prime factorizing my numbers. And since 49 is first, I'll start by focusing on that number. Now when it comes to my factors, the number that I can use to factorize 47, 49 is 7. Now with 49 and with the number 7, yes, 7 can divide into 49 7 times. 7 can divide into 36 without a remainder, so I'm going to return that number back to my ladder. And 7 can divide into 55 without a remainder, so that number will also return. I want you to remember that whenever you're using the division ladder, remember that there are no remainders in the division ladder. The number either has to divide out completely, or we find another factor. Okay, so let's continue prime factorizing our numbers. So I'm going to continue by focusing on my first number and I'm going to use 7 again. I remember that once it doesn't divide completely, we return that number back to the division ladder. So 7 divides into 7 once. 7 can't divide into 36, so we return 36. And 7 can't divide into 55, so we return those numbers. So now that I've completely factorized my 49, I'm now going to move on to my 36. And a number that I can divide 36 by is going to be 3. I usually like to start with the larger number because it's going to break the number down a whole lot quicker. Even though it'll still be the same amount of steps, but it will help me to work through the number a lot quicker in some sense. So we're going to return our 1 back to our division. 3 divides into 36 12 times and 3 can divide into 55 without a remainder so we return our 55 back to our, our ladder. And now I'm going to use 3 again. So returning 1 back. 3 goes into 12 4 times. 3 can divide to 55, so we return 55. Well, I'm going to be using 2, since 2 can divide into 4 twice. And 2 can divide into 55 without the remainder, so we're returning 55 back. So now we're going to use 2 again. We're going to return our 1. 2 divides into 2 once. And 2 can divide into 55, so we'll put our 55 back. So now we're looking for a prime number that we can divide 5 by. We can use 11 or 5. So I'm going to use 11. 11 divides into 55 5 times. And 5 divides into 5 once. So once I've reached 1 with all of my numbers, then I know that I have completely factorized all of these numbers. Now with finding my HCF, with the HCF, remember that especially when you're using a division ladder with three numbers. So we're using one division ladder, three numbers. Now to find our HCF, that means I'm looking for the point on my ladder where this number divided into all three of these numbers at once. So there's no point on our division ladder where we have 
any of our numbers dividing into all three of our numbers at the exact same time. And since that did not occur, that means that my HCF for these three numbers is none. So that means that I'm listing these numbers and remember that when you're looking for the highest common factor, we're not including one because one divides into every number excluding zero. So we're not including one when it comes to the HCF. So we have no highest common factor for these three numbers since there's none of our numbers that we use to prime factorize these numbers that divided into all three of them at one time. Okay, so there you have it. We have finished prime factorizing our numbers using the division ladder to calculate our HCF. And since these numbers have no common factor, then we know that there is no HCF for these three numbers. So make sure that you get some additional practice in, develop your skills. We'll be right here in the next video on Joel's Math Tools where we make math easy.